Tinapay mula sa langit A Daily Morning Devotion with CRC Family Good morning to all. I am Kian Carpio Asuncion from CRC Dasma Daughter Church. Samahan niyo po kami sa ating programang Tinapay Mula sa Langit, ang pang-araw-araw nating devotion sa Salita ng Diyos. The title of our devotion this morning is The Sacrifice Required. Let us read Leviticus 12 verses 6 to 7. When the days of her purification for a son or daughter are over, she is to bring to the priest at the entrance to the tent of meeting a year old lamb for a burnt offering and a young pigeon or a dove for a sin offering. He shall offer them before the Lord to make atonement for her and then she will be ceremonially clean from her flow of blood. These are the regulations for the woman who gives birth to a boy or a girl. This is the offering required for purification after childbirth, regardless of whether the mother bore a boy or a girl. Leviticus 12 verses 6 to 7 specifies this as it is the law for a woman who had given birth to a boy or a girl. It served as a necessary sacrifice that had to be offered in order to atone for a sin that was committed, indicating that the mother was symbolically held accountable for the birth of another sinner. To represent the child's dedication to God, the mother was required to bring a lamb to be given as a burnt offering, and the mother also brought a pigeon or a dove as an atonement and sin offering. With the sacrifice, the The mother's time of impureness came to an end and she was regarded clean. In summary, we must keep in mind that you will eventually need to make an, a present an atonement sacrifice in order to be pure and clean in the sight of our Lord. Let us read Hebrews 10 verses 8 to 14. First, Christ said, You did not want sacrifices and offerings. You were not satisfied with burnt offerings and sacrifices to take away sin. These are all sacrifices that the law commands. Then he said, Here I am, God. I have come to do what you want. So God ends that first system of sacrifices and starts his new way. Jesus Christ did the things God wanted him to do, and because of that, we are made holy through the sacrifice of Christ's body. Christ made that sacrifice one time, enough for all time. Every day, the priests stand and do their religious service. Again and again, they offer the same sacrifices which can never take away sins. But Christ offered only one sacrifice for sins, and that sacrifice is good for all time. Then he sat down at the right side of God, and now Christ waits there for his enemies to be put under his power. With one sacrifice, Christ made his people perfect forever. They are the ones who are being made holy. Let us close this with a prayer. Lord, we thank you for this day and for hearing the message you have given us this morning. We thank you for providing us strength and guidance to continuously remain faithful and holy in you. Though we have made many sacrifices and given up a lot of efforts, we know that this is what you require us to do and you will bless us because it is your will that had been done. We also lift up to you all the nations. We pray for your guidance, peace, and blessing to overflow upon Upon us all. Use us as an instrument to continuously spread your good news to all those who does not yet believe in you. Help every nation to overcome all circumstances and be the center of every country, tribe, and people. Again, we thank you for this wonderful message and we give you back all the glory and praise and in this we pray. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikibahagi sa ating programang ito. Muli po ninyo kaming samahan bukas sa pagninilay ng kanyang mga salita dito sa programang Tinapay Mula sa Langit. Malaya po kayong i-share ang video na ito upang kayo rin ay maging pagpapala sa iba. May God bless us all. Magandang umaga. Music